Hi, this is Topher with Big Commerce. I want to show you how you can look inside the log files of your local development environment to look for errors that might be happening with your website. We're going to be using local WP and I have a site loaded up right here. First, let's take a look at where the log files are. Right here, it tells you the path for this server. And if you click this little arrow next to it, you'll see that in here we have three folders and one of them is called logs. And in there are Nginx logs and PHP logs. And we want the error log for PHP. Now you can open it right here and look at it, but that's not really what we wanna be doing. I'm gonna show you a better way to see what's happening in the error logs. So let's copy this path right here and pull up a terminal window and type CD for change directory and then paste that in there. And then because bash does not like spaces, we need to put a little backslash right there before the space in local sites. And now we'll do an LS. And there are those same three folders that we saw a moment ago. So let's CD into logs. And if you double tab, It'll show you what's in there. So we type the P and hit tab again. And now we'll do an LS and there are our files. So now we're gonna use a command line tool called tail and tail by itself simply shows the last 10 lines of a file. But if you do tail dash F, it will show you changes to the last 10 lines as they happen. And that's the real magic. So we're going to do tail dash F on error dot log. And let's make this a little bit wider here. So you can see that recently on 10 July, today's the 15th. So five days ago, I had a fatal error in cart menu item dot PHP on line 24. But I'm going to make another error and then Reload the site and you'll see what happens. So I'm going to make a new tab here in my terminal. So now this is my document root for WordPress. So I'm just going to deliberately make a terrible coding problem. I'm just going to put an X right there. It's not PHP. It's going to make the site break. So here's the site. And I'll reload. Oh, there it is. Syntax error, unexpected define on line 15. And now that might sound completely different from what you saw me do right here. In PHP, the problem is almost always on the line immediately preceding the line that it's reported on. So here on line 15, it said they didn't expect a define. That's because way up here, they expected something else to be finished. But now let's look at our log file. Right here, it has the same thing. So I'm gonna hit enter several times just to make some white space. It's not really adding it to the file, it's just pushing it down a little bit. So if I reload again, which it did so fast you can't even see, there's the error again. Now on a problem site, you'll see errors just scrolling by here as traffic goes. If you have access to your log files on production, you can tail it just like this and watch for errors in production. It's pretty common. Looking for errors this way in your websites can be a lot faster because they simply pop up as they happen. If I reload a bunch of times as if we had traffic, you'll see we get a whole bunch of them. To get out of this, you simply do control C and you're back at the command line. And then, because you will hate yourself later if you don't fix it now, we should get rid of that X. We'll reload the page and we're back. So that's how you can take a look at the log files in local WP. If you found this video useful, please click the thumbs up there right below it.